Today, we're gonna to be working with the new Oracle Lighting Oculus RGBW color shift lights for the Jeep Wrangler JLN Gladiator. These lights have three different color shift elements to them, so the wiring can be configured a few different ways. So, let's go ahead, take a deeper dive, and show you how it's done. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. We have our instructions here. Then we have our actual headlights. Now we have our color shift cables here and our DRL wiring harness and fuse adapter in this bag. So as I mentioned before, these are RGBW lights. So the outer ring here has a dedicated white LED to create the daytime running light feature. To connect our daytime ring light, we're gonna use the same harness that we use for the standard Oculus headlights. The original installation guide already shows you how to connect this harness, so we don't really need to cover that, but let's go ahead and connect it to take a look at what the white daytime ring light looks like. We're simply gonna plug in the DRL harness to the cable that's marked DRL driving mode, line the key up so that the connector slides together, and then we're gonna take our ground cable and ground it and power the power cable. And as you can see, that's what our white daytime running light looks like. So it's a nice true white, uh, pretty much similar to what the original Oculus light looks like. But the difference with this is that we actually get color shifting capabilities in this light as well. So let's go ahead and show you how to connect those cables. All right, so from the back of the headlight, we can identify some of our cables. This is the headlight high beam, low beam plug that's gonna plug right into the factory connector. This is our daytime running light connector. This has already been tied into our DRL harness. Now we have three cables and each cable is clearly marked. Uh, the tag on it identifies exactly what it goes to for easy identification. So these three cables are gonna control our three different LED elements. We have our inner ring, our outer ring, and our demon eye. Now each of these three cables is gonna get an extension cable that goes along with it. So basically, Again, you have four connectors here, four connectors, there's a little guide pin. We just make sure that we accurately line up that guide pin, slide down the connector, and then tighten these down. Now that we've got the extensions on here, let's go ahead and see how we could potentially connect these to some of our Oracle Color Shift controllers. So one of our most popular options is Oracle Color Shift 2.0 box. This is pretty easy to use. It comes with a remote. It works off IR, so it doesn't have very long range, but you do have a good amount of controls on here and the controller is pretty robust. So if you wanted to add more color shift lights, like wheel rings or fog lights, this could easily handle it. So uh, the first two inputs on here are DC plus DC minus. So that's gonna go to the positive and negative on the battery or positive 12 volt input. Uh, output on here is RGB and DC plus. So that's gonna be the red wire, the blue wire and the green wire. And then for, R for DC plus, is going to be the black wire on this cable here. So when we connect these to this box, we can do it a couple different ways. We can go ahead and connect everything, all the reds, all the greens, and all the blues as it corresponds on here. And what that'll do is that'll make the light light up all together with each element the same color. Now, if we wanted to make the elements different colors to have a little bit more contrast and a little bit different look, potentially what you could do is connect element one as RGB and then element two as BGR and then element three as GBR. And so what that would do is every time you set, let's say the color on red, the, the, the outer halo would be red, the inner halo would be blue, and then the demon eye would be green. And as it changed colors, these things would sort of continue to change and they would always have a contrasted look to them. So another really popular color shift controller is the BC1. Uh, this allows you to use your smartphone, to control the LED lights and select whatever color you want. You could also create uh, different types of patterns. Uh, you know, basically everything you'd be able to do with the other controller. The other really interesting thing about this is that you could potentially take three BC1 controllers and set up three different zones so that you could select the individual zone you want to do. And basically you could say uh, through the app, you can take it and make the outer halo blue, for instance, make the inner halo red and the demon eye yellow. You'd be able to control each one of those individually or simultaneously 
depending on how you use the app. So it's a uh, pretty cool feature. Uh, you would need three controllers to do that, or you could just use one and have everything controlled at once like we have here. So that pretty much covers everything with the Oracle Oculus Color Shift Wiring Guide. If you have more questions or want to learn more about Oculus, visit oraclelights.com slash oculus or give us a call at 1-800-407-5776. Thanks for watching.